If you're having problem testing short category 6A links, there's probably a couple causes. As you can see here, I've just tested a 3 meter cat 6A link and it's passed with exceptional margins. My crosstalk margin is better than 5 dB, my return loss margin is better than 4 dB. So what's the secret? Well, first, connector choice. On a short link, the connector is going to be the dominant factor. Now, there are lots of CAT 6A connectors out there. Some are clearly better than others. If you pick a minimally compliant CAT 6A connector, you will have problems on short CAT 6A links. You need to find yourself a connector which outperforms the standard by quite some margin. And I happen to pick one of those connectors here today. The second thing is, the termination into the back of the module needs to be perfect. That means minimum untwist. Zero untwisting of the individual pairs going into the back of the module. The other part of the secret is the PLA002, my test lead here today. This plug on the end here, you will often find in the connector vendor's hardware labs. The reason why is this plug here actually meets the test plug requirements for connecting hardware in the TIA and ISO IEC standards for crosstalk, return loss, and fixed. The manufacturer here is required to tune this jack to a TIA and ISO IEC plug. Well, if this is a TIA ISO IEC plug, guess what happens when you make them together? You get the perfect marriage. So, is there an issue with field testers testing CAT 6A links? Not in the case of the DTX Cuba Analyzer. So long as you're using the PLA002, you've chosen the right connector, and you've terminated it just perfectly.